In a common year, we have 365 days because that's roughly how long it takes the Earth to orbit the Sun. We have to say roughly, though, because it actually takes the Earth 365 days plus about another six hours to complete that circular path. So to keep our timing as accurate as possible, we add up the extra six hours a year every four years, and we put those combined 24 hours on the calendar in the form of a leap day. Now, here's where it gets a little more tricky. Technically, the extra time it takes Earth to orbit around the sun each year is actually a few minutes shy of those six hours we just talked about. So to account for those minutes, we skip the whole leap year practice when we reach a century year, unless the century year can be divided by 400. Huh? In other words, the century years 1800 and 1900 were not leap years, and the year 2100 will also not be a leap year, but the year 2000, you may remember, was a leap year. Does that all make sense? <laughs>